So, section 15, Return of Paradise, the Queen's Identity. The Zero Cell has entered a stable zone. We should finally be safe here, at least for a while. Once again, we escape by the skin of our teeth. I was hoping to never have to cut it that close again. I mean, at least we made it. You are as tasteless as a tiger shark. You always bring your enemies with you like this. Oh, if it isn't the strange servant I saw in the Wandering Sea, I didn't know you were here too. As you can see, I'm currently nothing more than a fellow fugitive. As they say, no road is long with, uh, with good company, and love makes the world go round. What a perfect example of strange bedfellows, or shipmates if you will. Of course, this is strictly a temporary business arrangement, but I do hope we can get along for this duration. Likewise, oh, and not so much as a finger on the instruments, please. If you so much as breathe on them, Mr. Detective here is going to open up a can of Baritsu on your ass. Now, now, I'll thank you not to refer to, me, to we detectives as you would a knife. Never mind that my deductions are so sharp one could cut oneself on them. Even I would need a hot shower if I were to get the blood of so, of so toxic a vixen on me. Oh my, the office banter is so pointed here. You're not picking a fight with me, are you? Awkward. <laughs> Just fuck already! What I want to know is why no one's pointing out how Ko's outfit just magically fixed itself. She even looks good in a traditional Indian outfit, complete with sari. Is she an angel or a demon after all? Alright, enough small talk. We have a great deal of questions and precious little time. Let's begin with your present circumstances. Why did you seek refugee aboard the border? Aren't you with the Lost Belts, or rather, the Foreign God? Well, you know how bands sometimes split up because of creative differences. It's a lot like that. I think Pepperosino there can attest to it. I never liked this one much to begin with, and was planning to wash my hands of him once he ser served his purpose, but he ended up beating me to the punch. He filled Arjuna's ears with all sorts of nonsense about me, and now I'm officially persona non grata in this India. I don't know what that means. That said, I never had much of an opinion about this Lost Belt to begin with, so I'm not too broken up that I've been exiled from it now. But for the time being, I think I'll stick around a while longer. Let's just say I have my reasons. Huh. I thought as much. I thought as much about what, Pepperosino the traitor? Oh, a swing and a miss. I haven't betrayed anyone, but thanks for playing. My goal as a cryptor is to grow my tree of emptiness, and I certainly haven't abandoned it. I'm not on bad terms with anyone from Team A, and I have no intention of defying the foreign god either. The only ones I don't trust... Are you alter egos? I mean, how could I? You're all the definition of shady! Very fair point. <laughs> Very fair point. It's because I have my doubts about you three that I shared the information I have with Vane. I thought I could gain some insight from a different perspective on this situation, though I'm sure Holmesy already deduced as much. Indeed, I was fully aware that you were probing our goals and perspectives. But of course, I allowed it, as I could tell you were doing so from a place of fairness rather than malice. Given the current state of the world, it doesn't take much thought to realize this fatal contradiction. The fate that Miss Ko is here right now, or the fact that Miss Ko is here right now, only further serves to reinforce it. While I do feel as though I already have a firm grasp on the answer, I also feel as though it would be improper for me to be the one to explain it. So, as one of those directly involved, I would like to ask you about this great mystery we can no longer ignore, Scandinavia Pepperosino. Oh, that's sweet! How can you be so kind and handsome and yet so unpopular? Is it because you're inhuman at heart? All right, then. Don't mind if I do. Ko, you can confirm this for me, right? The goals of the cryptors and the foreign god's disciples don't completely line up, do they? I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> what do you mean? 
let me be clear. This world is headed towards oblivion. The way it's being run now, it can't possibly end up at anything halfway decent. Once it's completely purged of evil, we're not going to have the perfect world he's aiming for. We'll be left with a world of total nothingness. It's fair to say that Arjuna has gone completely off the rails. But the bigger problem is that you disciples aren't doing anything to stop him. If anything, that treacherous snake of a man is pushing him to hurry things along. Why? The way things are going now, both this Lost Belt and its tree of emptiness will be lost forever, so why aren't you two trying to stop that? Furthermore, given the state of we found you in, it seems there is also every possibility that even you disciples don't share a common goal. Tell us, what exactly are you? Good question. I suppose if it will pay my fare, I'll answer you as far as I'm able to. I do indeed have my own adorable goals I'm working towards. Adorable goals that neither the cryptors nor that shitty monk share. I sincerely doubt there's anything adorable about them. What are they? Well, there's tormenting humans. Oh, and collecting regional monsters, I suppose. It's a hobby of mine, investigating new and unusual creatures. This Lost Belt has both Kali and Sacred Beast, so I'm already pretty happy about that. Excuse me. What can you tell us about the other alter ego? I'm afraid that's one I can't answer. It would violate the non-disclosure agreement in the contract I signed with the foreign god. The most I can say is that he and I most certainly do not get along, as you can tell from my presence here. The three alter egos may have different approaches due to different personalities, but share one common goal. All three alter egos want to grow the Tree of Emptiness to completion. I see. Is that true for Father Kotomine? I mean, Rasputin too? Of course, but you know what happened in the Russian Lost Belt? What with its king and Kadok being who they are? Well, despite what you might think, that priest is a genuine saint. Complete with the ability to know the future, I guess you'd say he can make prophecies... And apparently he prophesied that the Russian Lost Belt was only ever going in poorly and acted accordingly. Alright, that's enough from me. I believe I've more than paid my fare by now. Oh no, you haven't. Not by a long shot. It costs a lot more than that to ride my ship. Leaving the question of whether it's your ship or not aside, I do agree that she has only begun to pay her fare. Oh, come now. Do you have any idea how much Rasputin's secrets would normally cost? That priest never says a word about himself, you know? It wasn't easy to part with them, but since doing so would be his problem more than mine, I figured I could share them with you as a little bonus of sorts. So she's willing to saw out her teammate's skills, but not her own secrets, huh? I mean, shocker of all shocks. We just... <laughs> I mean, we just got done talking about how they don't agree with each other. Talk about a dyed-in-the-wool misanthrope. It's like everything she does is designed to piss others off. I have a feeling we're not going to get anything from her that she isn't willing to give us. For now, I guess I should just be glad that I was able to confirm my hypothesis. I wonder just how much Kirstaria knows about the foreign god's identity and objectives. At any rate, I no longer have any interest in what happens to this world. I am, as they say, over it. So by all means, go ahead and mess with it as much as you like. I'd be especially happy if you could give that shitty monk some much-needed comeuppance. Do you really think we're done here? We saved you when you were at death's door, and I doubt you're anywhere close to your old strength yet. To put it another way, you have nowhere to run, and your life is in our hands now. Oh my, does this mean your gentlemanly facade is crumbling? Now that I'm your prisoner, I wonder what you're going to do to me. Are you going to bind my limbs and throw me in solitary? Chop me into tiny pieces like what happened in China? What? No, I'm just referring to your promise to temporarily cooperate with us. Though well, that's not to say we won't take precautions. I trust there won't be any issue letting her out of here, out of here along with Vane. I highly doubt it, not with Rama, Ganesha, and Lakshmi all keeping an eye on her. Once we have our safety measures in place, I believe our most prudent course of action would be to act on this new information. And of course, when the situation calls for it, we would like you to assist us in battle. At the moment, I believe that covers the manner of assistance we expect from you. 
Well, I can't promise to be too much help in combat, but I can certainly fight well enough to protect my own life. And if you're treating me as a guest rather than a prisoner, I'll agree the information I shared doesn't cover my fare. So rest assured, I'll be glad to work off the rest. I certainly don't want to be in debt to humans after all. Well, if nothing else, at least we made it through another cataclysm unscathed. I think we've all earned a little break today, so why don't we kick back and relax while we wait for the outside world to stabilize. If all goes well, maybe we'll even be able to sell everything during the next Yuga cycle. Oh. So, you're the one I heard on the transmission. I go by Captain right now. Thought that name, though that name has no particular meaning. Not that I have any other more meaningful name, any other more meaningful name to go by right now, anyway. Good to meet you, Captain. I'm... You don't have to tell me. I know who you are. Do you mean we've met somewhere before? Of course not. What makes you think that? I guess it would be your scent. My scent, huh? Well, I guess I can understand that more than I could if you'd said my appearance. Anyway, I'm afraid I have a lot of work I need to get back to. You should rest now while you can. I wonder why he's avoiding me. I don't remember wronging him. Although that look in his eyes... Was it nervousness? Fear? No. Wait. I think it was... Guilt? I don't know enough about his true story to actually weigh in on that. So the cycle begins anew. Phew! I don't think I've ever been so happy to see the sky. There really is something else about seeing it for the first time in a while that appeals to a diehard shut-in like me. Thought you were a type who never left their room no matter what. Yeah, how would I get food or go to the bathroom? Of course I'd go out when I gotta. Tell that to Triple C where you forced uh, Karna to buy all your shit. I always enjoyed the early mornings when I'd have to run down to the convenience store to replenish my snack supplies after fighting a massive raid boss for three days straight. The way you could still see the stars as the first rays of sun started to creep over the horizon was just divine. Whoa, maybe it was those spiritual morning walks that made Ganesha choose me for his vessel. Yeah, probably not. My apologies for the seemingly endless string of similar instructions. But I would like you all to start by returning to beat you, as usual. Got it. Huh, what a perfectly peaceful little human town. It makes me positively nauseous. So what's the plan here? You do have a plan to take down that spoiled brat turned god, don't you? We're going to tear him off. We're tear him off his divine throne and bring him down to our level, starting with this town. Now that these people have fought their way through a Kali Yuga, there should be even more of them on our side. Once we've convinced this town he isn't a god worth worshipping, we'll move on to other towns until he's weakened enough that we can feed him. A good boycott campaign, hmm? Okay, I can see the sense in that. <laughs> At least theoretically. Even though we're in the peaceful Kitra Yuga now, something feels off. I feel it too. Does this town seem weirdly quiet to you too? Definitely. Foo foo! Hey guys, I'm kind of worried about Asha. Remember she said her dad was injured? Maybe we should go check on her first. Of course, I was just thinking the same thing. I think her house was over in that direction. Let's go see her. No one's there. Town is empty. Calling it. There's her house. Thank goodness it's intact. Why don't we take a peek inside through the window first to see how they're doing? Looks like they're celebrating something. I'm so glad we made it uh, to the Kitri Yuga to celebrate your 4,000th day of life, Asha. Me too. A lot's happened over the different Yugas, more than I can even remember. 
I was worried how things were going to go when we first took you in. Called it. Knew it. Dad's gone. Called it. But you've grown up to be a wonderful little girl. Though you know it's strange. I know I've been here since way back. This house still doesn't feel like our home. Maybe it's just too big for us. I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe it's time we thought about moving. I think there's another house we could live in not too far from here. But we don't need to think about that now. Today's your special day and we're going to celebrate. Go ahead and eat anything you want, okay? Okay. Oh, what's wrong, Asha? You don't look very excited. Auntie? Doesn't it feel like we're missing someone important? There we go. Sorry about that. Had something in the way. Anyways. Shocker. Dad's dead. Who would have guessed? Who would have thought? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, oh, for Look what you made me do. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? You dropped the dish over a little question. You're such an ulu. There it is again. It feels like someone else should have said that. It feels strange that nobody's saying it. It really feels like there ought to be someone else here with us. What an odd little girl you are. Who would that possibly be? You know, it's always been just the three of us. Yeah, I know, but I can't help but feel like I made a promise with someone. Someone who said they'd celebrate with me and patted my head, telling me how much I'd grown. Am I crying? That's a funny surprise. This is supposed to be a happy day. Oh no, I should be sad that her dad is gone, but I totally called this like two sections ago, so I'm not surprised at all. Oh no. I feel no remorse for characters who aren't characters! I'm sorry, game! Force feeding me this crap is not gonna make me feel sympathy! Especially when this is the fourth fucking time you've done it! <sighs> Pull yourself together! Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. But, Senpai, this is just... just... Let's get out of here. Right now, I don't even think I could look Asha in the eye and smile. She said his leg was injured. Is that why? A little thing like that? That's just like what happened to Vihan. This is horrible. I don't even have the words for how horrendously wrong this all is. Oh no. Does this mean... Uh, huh. I think all the freedom fighters are dead. They're not here. Hey. Oh, hello. Is everything all right? Would you like to come to my house and have a glass of grape juice? Forget about juice. What happened to all the people in the town hall? What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean. I'm talking about the people who came here from Duval. There were dozens of people living here while they tried to find new homes. I'm very sorry, but I truly have... No idea what you're talking about. Nobody has ever lived in the town hall. Damn it. You poor thing, I don't know what you're talking about. But I can tell you've been through a lot. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to call on me. Good luck. Damn it. Damn it! Just refusing to obey is a sin now, you false god! A crime so great you throw them away like they're worthless? It seems we were too lax in our assumptions. Given how removed Arjna is from this world, I assumed he would never bother to personally determine the so-called defectiveness of individual person's actions. Especially since we knew Duval continued to exist across Yugas even after they began fighting back. That sounds right to me, if we're just talking about Arjna himself. I'm sure he would consider ch changes in the little people's faith as trivial matters beneath his notice. But he has a certain advisor at his ear, one who loves nothing more than snitching. And I can't see that slimy, devious monk not ta taking the chance to rat these people out. Yes, I recall you mentioned him on the border as well. 
It sounds as though you and he are on extremely poor terms. Oh yes, he's a wonderfully shitty monk. As for who he is, well, you'll find that out when you meet him yourselves. So it's his fault these people disappeared. No, it might... it might be mine. Lakshmi? It might be because I helped them, because I lit a fire under them, because I drew the false god's attention to them. Maybe I'm the reason they were eliminated. Oh, for fuck's sake. Girl, I do not have time or the patience for your self-pity act, especially when we just came to a rational, dis uh, rational idea of how this possibly came about. I do not have the time or patience for you to go over your guilt about getting more people killed because that relates to your past. <sighs> this really is just, hey, can we make the character, can we make the player feel sympathetic by just doing a bunch of shitty shit? The answer is no. They might have been a racist, though they never existed because they got caught in my cloud of bad luck. Lakshmi? No, that is not my name. I've been lying to you this whole time. Everything that's gone wrong is my fault. I knew I should have stuck to fighting on my own. W what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. The god that resides within me is not Lakshmi. W what was that? Me. The goddess of happiness and prosperity. What a joke. I'm the exact opposite. I bring adversity and tragedy wherever I go. I'm the embodiment of things everyone should avoid and despise. The real name of the goddess within me is Alakshmi. Lakshmi's older sister, the goddess of bad luck and misfortune. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.